everybody and welcome back. We're doing a very makeup themed video. I hope you're into it. I hope you're a makeup lover. So what we're doing, there is this dance competition that I have done makeup for before and it was a friend's referral to fly out to California. If you guys remember, it was a vlog I actually did. It was one of my favorites because I know how excited I was. In my mind, I was like, this is it. I'm gonna be flying everywhere for makeup. I am now an international MUA in my head. That's what I was thinking. But then I also was thinking, God, I, I don't like traveling that much. I'm such a homebody. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do it all the time. I did this in California. It was a whole weekend at a hotel where we, uh, as a glam team, hair and makeup, busted out full face, full glam hair, updos for dancers that do classic trained ballroom dance, tangos. I mean, they're whipping around. We have to make sure their makeup stays put and their hair stays put. I don't do the hair, but makeup stays put. I'm going to learn from last time. I'm going to respectfully just let the person know in my chair, we have 30 minutes. I'm sorry if I don't chat you up as much as I normally would if you were paying me for an hour to 90 minutes of our time together. So it's quick. I mean, it's lashes, it's glitter. It's like a lifted wing look. It's stage makeup, so you can really slap it on there. And something that I did today was pre-order a bunch of stuff from Target that's disposable. So basically what we're going to be doing together, <laughs> this thing is really bouncy. We're gonna put my kit together. We're gonna pack it for this mega weekend of makeup. I have this like urge to wear red today. So I'm gonna put on the Gwen red lipstick. I was trying really hard to not do a long-winded intro. This is gonna be a chatty video though. Broke a nail too. What are the odds? I have a lot of work coming up next week too. I think I have a project coming up with Miss Erin. That's gonna be heck of fun. I'm really excited about that project. It also just means that like, I don't know what my week is gonna be like next week, which is why I've been filming so much content this week in video format for you guys, for YouTube. I haven't done really anything for anything else. I did like one reel and everything else has been YouTube focused and blog. I'm working on my blog. I deleted my TikTok for a while just cause I felt like I was wasting time. And then I just got it back. I was feeling this extra pressure from TikTok that I should be on it and checking it. And I, d I didn't need another thing. So I just was like, no. I tried, I did a whole week of content on TikTok just to try it out. And it just felt like it was really time consuming for no result. I mean, that's just the world of content, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I've been doing YouTube for how long now and I still only get like 50 views per video, but it's gotten me work. It's gotten me a lot of work actually. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with like it predominantly just being a landing spot for me to share my creative needs. Like it's fulfilling creative needs that I need. This is where I get to express myself and I need, I, I'm, I'm a creative person <laughs> that needs to be able to express myself. So the result, yes, it would be nice if I had bigger results, but really I need it. Like I need to be able to make videos to fuel my soul. <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, and then yes, my friend just messaged me as a reminder. Uh, a friend of mine makes jewelry. I actually talked about her jewelry, I think in like a recent video. If I can help in any way, I'd love to be supportive. And so I bought a pair of her earrings and since she's sick, she's leaving them on her porch. And I'm gonna go pick them up. That's all I've got for right now. I'm gonna get dressed and we'll reconvene here in a sec when I get my shit together. Just got back from running my errands. Today has gotten away from me. I don't know how this has happened. <laughs> Is it because I got up late? I wanted to show you the earrings from my friend though, the little bag that came in. So she gave me a little freebie and one of them fell out in the transit from my car to here. So I need to go get it. It fell in my car somewhere. This is the logo for her little jewelry design company. And she does little markets and stuff around here as well, but you can follow her on Instagram and look up all of the stuff that she makes. She's an esthetician. I actually met her when I was working with Mario Badescu and she was doing skincare of some sort and we worked a shift where she came in and was doing some demos of the product that she was working under. These are the earrings that I ordered. I love them. We were watching Mandalorian when I was shopping around on her website. So perhaps I was inspired from watching Mandalorian. I usually wear hoops or studs. I don't wear a lot of unique earrings. I used to and then I just stopped kind of focusing as much on my jewelry and I kind of fell off of jewelry altogether. When you can get fun little statements that your friends make, 
then why not? How cute are they? And then I got a little shipment of Lilac Street stuff. I thought I would show you what I ordered because I'm trying a new pair. Look at those, really feathery and a little bit more volume at the base and then wispy at the end. I'm excited to see. I have on Uptown right now, I think. Uh, this set is actually only a couple of days old, so we're good on that. I'm just going to keep these on for a few more days and they'll get me through the weekend, which is great because I have to get up and be ready so quickly and then hit the road. So I'm not gonna have time to do my makeup or even really care about my makeup. My hair is likely gonna be like this all weekend long. <laughs> So anyway, I got Daydreams in 14 millimeters and then Feather in 14 millimeters. As you guys know, I am an affiliate with Lilac Street. This isn't sponsored, but if you want to use my links, they're going to be in the description box and there is a code for you to get 10% off using my code if it's your first time ever using these lashes. These are DIY lash extensions I wear because I'm allergic to lash glue and I cannot wear any sort of other type of lash extension of any kind except for these. They're the only ones where the lash glue doesn't irritate my skin because it doesn't go on your skin. It goes on your lash. So I I bought another pro lash glue in black. This is the one that I wear every time. This is this will be my third or fourth bottle of this since I've been introduced to Lilac Street. My sister-in-law, who's a nurse, is the one who introduced me to this brand and I've fallen in love with it. And then I worked with them a few times now. So it's really been a great relationship that I've had with them. I'm gonna show you what I got to add to my makeup kit for tomorrow. I thought this would be really handy. It's Q-tips in three different shapes and sizes. I really like the pointy ones for obvious reasons when you're doing makeup, it's really good for cleaning up and getting like eye crusties out of someone's eye even. Some cosmetic wedges. So when I do foundation on everybody last time, I used a brush and had to clean my brushes to be able to reuse them for, or I think I even just got creative. But now I don't have to do that. I don't have to use any foundation brush at all. I'm gonna use a cotton wedge. This is the hypoallergenic rubber latex free ones. Really good to use those types because a lot of people do have latex allergies. I ordered these bamboo plates with the intention of having the flat ones and it looks like they put the bowls in, which is fine. I'm just gonna use this as my tray, as my palette tray. Any sort of like disposable thing that we're gonna be using for that particular person. And then when they're done and they leave, I'm just gonna throw the plate away and get a new plate out. No more having to clean my palette. And this is actually something I'm going to use for big weddings. I thought it would be handy to have a red liquid lip that's kind of a universal color. This is just called classic red. I feel like that will be good on a lot of girls. But if they're not into red and they want something more subtle, I got two different tones of a brownie kind of nude. I got a fuchsia kind of fun pink one and then two brownie nudes and then the red. I'm obsessed with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I love it. I have this foundation for myself. I haven't worn it in a really long time, but I got just three colors of a really light ivory, a golden tone, and then a soft beige tone, because that's all they had. I have plenty of other foundations I can mix with it to make it the right tone. Now we are going to go through my makeup kit and see what I can put together for tomorrow. Okay, here is the makeup pack. These are the makeup looks. I just went ahead and printed them out. This is the inspiration behind, if you can hear Lyle, he's talking to the dogs behind me. This is the inspiration behind the makeup looks. So lots of glitter, lots of glam. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> I've made a mess by the way, look at this. I've got stuff all over my cozy pants. We have all of the foundations here. So I've got tons of various types, I've got the Fit Me foundations. I've got all of the various tones of Wet n Wild. I've got a few stay matte from NYX under here. Um, and then a couple of even just Clinique Super palettes. I have these smaller ones. If we start to get into like various skin tones, I can really just mix and adjust with what I have here. So this is probably way more than I need, but I'd rather have more and have the right foundation. Here's tons of different powders. I have a slew of Studio Fix in all different tones. I should put these in order of color. Yeah. And then I've got all my setting powders back here. Laura Mercier setting powder. I've got this really amazing 
shape tape setting powder and translucent deep which is great um, more translucent powder this is all the primers i'm going to use this one's really handy because it's good for clearing up any redness so if somebody's got like really agitated red skin this is a good thing to pop down before I start their makeup and lip primer, I just like shave a piece of this off. Got eye creams in here. Tape to tape off their eyes. Tons of different types of liquid eyeliners. And then this is full of glitter. All of the colors are categorized from like silver to purple to gold silvers and all that. And then I also have just like real true glitter back here, which is like loose glitter. I have some glitter glues back here, some lash glues back here. I have like three different types of lash glues in case somebody is allergic. I have one that's more hypoallergenic and then I have the regular good old fashioned duo. Lip pencils back here, tons of liquid lips. So I've got like a bunch of different colors. Two different types of waterproof mascara. Those plates are over here. I have this little station that I can set up. It's like a wood station. I'm gonna set that up and put all of my disposables in it. Disinfecting wipes to clean off the whole like station area. The cosmetic wedges for foundation. I have stacks and stacks of lashes back here. Every type of eyeshadow color you can ever imagine. And then I have a lipstick kit. If they don't want to do the liquid lips or none of those colors work for them, I can go the route of having like a more satin sheen with a lip liner and then we can pick from these colors. So really every color lipstick under the sun that they can go for. For highlight, we're gonna just do the glow kit, the sun dip glow kit, a brow kit back here, all of my blushes. I have three blush palettes, color correcting kit. So if anybody has dark circles or a lot of redness or what have you, uh, this will be my go-to little palette there. That is everything. I'm waiting to hear back. Oh, here we go. Ah, she's sending the schedule right now. Okay, so I'm gonna know my start time. Tomorrow's start time is pretty, like, normal, so I just can wake up naturally and then get ready and go, but Sunday's start time is at, I believe, 6 or even 5.30 now, and then the time changes an hour, so we lose an hour of time, an hour of sleep. So if I have to be there at 5.30 and it's 45 minutes, give or take drive, I gotta be up at, like, 4.30, <laughs> 4 o'clock and it's gonna feel like three o'clock. It's gonna be nuts. I'm gonna go make us some ravioli and asparagus for dinner. And that is my makeup kit. I thought you guys might wanna see how I pack for doing a big job like this, cause this is a big one. And then hopefully tomorrow, if they'll let me, I can get a little bit of video for my phone for you guys. So we'll see what I can get done. Good morning. It is the big day. I'm heading there. I don't love my hair, but I, I said to myself, give yourself enough time to shower and do your hair if you feel like it, but if you just want to lay in bed and do a bun, that's okay too. <laughs> that's what I did. Last night, I knew that I wasn't going to have time for food. I made those little egg bites that you can get at Starbucks. <laughs> and it's good! That's nice. Sausage, asparagus, cheese and egg. And then I have a coffee. And I'm good. done it's two o'clock we did really good on time everything stayed pretty on schedule actually i was really surprised so that's good everybody was so nice everybody was in such a good mood i've got some video and some photos of some of the models i asked them if i can take photo of video and i got their permission so that i can share it with you guys anyway but i had a blast i'm gonna get home probably grab some lunch on the way get some z quill and attempt to go to sleep at a decent hour We'll see. Well, good morning. I don't know if my stomach was ready for this. I'm drinking Death Wish coffee. It's an instant coffee that is really, really strong. Heading there, took my sleep syrup at 7.30, got in bed. I think I probably, I set the clock ahead, so I probably fell asleep at like nine. In real time, it was eight. <laughs> But it worked. Oh my God, there's a robot. Look at it. Oh my God. 
there's a freaking robot and he's so cool. <laughs> oh my God, I'm obsessed. dog yes yes welcome to the next day boom there sometimes I don't know how to start the next day hello 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 the weekend is over we made it through it it was a success everything went off without a hitch everybody was on time I didn't have one cancellation it was great I have some makeup to show you guys I thought I would close this video out with a little bit of an ipsy unboxing with you this is the first time that I've ever ordered Ipsy add-ons. I've never done the add-ons before, but they had some really good options. Add-ons are basically sometimes anywhere from 50 to 75% off name brand products. So I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to and then plus I think I was in the mindset of building my kit so I added things that I just was like even if I don't need it for myself I'll toss it in the makeup kit let's just open this up so I don't keep babbling because gosh I was just editing pre-editing this video I talk a lot I hope that you guys aren't bored the very first thing I can show you that was an add-on but it was really 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 cheap and it is a complex culture titanium curling wand wow look at that that is such a good size. That is perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. I like the color of it too. It's like gray and then rose, almost like a rose gold. But yeah, I just wanted something to do some cool stuff with my hair. You guys, I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying so hard. Anyway, here's the Ipsy. I've been trying so hard to not put extensions back in, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. My hair, it takes like so much for it to look cute and I end up just pulling it up like this. This would be so much better if I just had my extensions. <laughs> Everything fell out. Here's the bag, but there's nothing in it. Wander Beauty Sunkissed Eye and Face Palette. I haven't gotten a palette in a while, so I'm excited about this. I think I chose this one because I was thinking of having something for when we go on a trip that had eye and face. I like the idea. I love, I love, love. Those are like sunny, highlighty, glowy. Really pretty, I love Bellini, that's so pretty. Oh, that's such a pretty blush color. Do you see that? It's like peach. All I have on today is BB cream and a little little bit of blush, but highlight. Ooh, that's pretty too. Very nice. I like this, this will be great for travel. This looks like an aromatic body lotion by La Vido. Nice. Ooh, it's very creamy. That smells straight up like a coconut SPF or something. It smells like you're on vacation. Oh, it's not like, it's weird. It's almost wa watery after a second. Like you rub it in and you think it's gonna be like really thick and creamy and then it almost turns into a water. KVD lightweight full coverage concealer. <gasps> this is in medium. It looks really, really dark. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna be my color. Oh, okay. Are we really dark? You know, it is, but I haven't put any tanner on. So maybe in the summer, this will be more of my, my tone. Love this packaging though. I like the look of it. Moving fast. I don't want to take up too much time. Pat McGrath Lust Gloss. Pat McGrath is so expensive. That is exciting. Look at that cool envelope style packaging. This is the color. How lux getting Pat McGrath. Reminds me of just like how Max smells, like kind of that vanilla. I was expecting that to be a lot more in your face and it's not and I'm glad. I like that it's subtle. What's the color's name? Heavy Petal. Nice. Love Pat McGrath. Love the products. We have a Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I did choose this as an add-on. I just wanted to try the Born This Way Concealer. 
Look at the size of this concealer. Another one that's actually gonna be a little bit too dark for me, but it was so cheap. I think it was like five bucks. Wow. Look at that coverage. <laughs> Holy mackerel. These are really, these are more luxe brands. The Fenty Skin Hydro Visor Invisible Moisturizer, SPF 30 Sunscreen. It looks like it's in a travel size. I think this also was something I think I bought this as an add-on. I got three add-on items, the curling iron, this, and the concealer. That's right. Mmm. Why do I always try to show you guys the smell? But it's a just a SPF moisturizer. Look at the skin. It's so shimmer, shimmery. I'm still blown away by this concealer. This will be so good for travel. That was another reason why I got it. I was like, oh, let me go on our little trip. This will be like a little day moisturizer. Yay, that was my little Ipsy unboxing. I just wanted to show that to you guys. Anyway, I have a little guest pup here. Uh, my husband finished painting the house while I was away this weekend. So I just wanted to show you guys some clips of that really quickly. So this is our second coat wall. We still have obviously with that strip of blue we have that little section to touch up and fix but otherwise there's two coats and it looks immaculate i love it so much he even did oop, he even did the little section here which that had to have been a pain in the butt still some tape there we have a new light installed looks awesome he also did these satin finish is what i'm calling them but more of a shiny finish light covers and frame and plates so the face plate is now this like shiny look and i feel like with that against the mat it's giving off like a cool tuxedo vibe i really like it we're going to be doing the stairs as well we're pulling the carpeting off and hopefully we'll have some sort of wood to work with but we want to do the piano style like black and white piano key stairs with carpeting down the middle and we're actually considering doing most of it ourselves and then having the carpet or carpet carpet people come in and lay the carpet down so there's that i just think it looks so good that's all i got it's my birthday next week i don't know what i'm gonna be doing i know i'm working a lot but i'm gonna try to do some fun videos with you guys so stay tuned for those and otherwise thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys when i see ya bye